What's going on, everyone? So, the story that Victor is trying to unravel and unpack just isn't cutting it. It's not adding up, right? First, Christopher was this bad guy and went on this massacre and just took out everyone in the town. Now, it's like, is Christopher even evil at this point? Like, did he really go dark side? Like, Victor talks about how, you know, he, he used to make everyone laugh and he used to smile all the time and then he stopped smiling but is it because he went dark side or is it just because, you know, he was relayed information from the boy in white and it kind of changed his perspective, right? And he just thought like, hey, there's no way out of this place, right? Like it just changed his demeanor. And even then, did that lead to him like going through and killing everybody in the town? Because that's how it was originally presented. And then we got the flashback. And in the flashback, you see all these bodies and they're literally like ripped apart as if the monsters ran through them all. But okay. If the monsters ran through them all, then it wasn't Christopher unless Christopher became a monster or he set them all up to be eaten by the monsters. But then even then, like no one escaped, like literally everybody died. Like, the monsters don't run, they don't sprint, they don't do anything. Like, 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 how did everybody die? Right? And then, on top of that, you add in that Victor keeps misremembering things. And I've talked about, like, how much can we trust Victor's memories? Right? Because first, it was Jasper who told the story. And he had to go on this journey. He had to go on this adventure to go get Jasper so Jasper could tell the story again. And then... It turns out, oh no, it wasn't Jasper. It was actually the boy in white. And the boy in white relayed the information to Christopher. But then Christopher refused to go through the bottle tree to save everybody and save the children. So Victor told her mo his mother, who then she got the idea of like, okay, fine, then I'll go do it. I'll go through the tree. And then Victor found her body lying in front of the tree originally under the assumption that she didn't make it into the tree, but then who killed her mother? Did her mother, did his mother even really die? Did she go into the tree and end up like the rock? And remember when Victor threw the rock in the tree and then that fell, right? Like the story keeps changing, right? Like nothing is quite adding up. And it's like, okay, so now we're on like the fourth iteration of this story and it's still being unpacked, and it's still being unraveled, and it kind of is just like, okay, like, so are we going to find out the truth? Are we going to kind of unravel and unpack this at some point, or is it going to be something that just is kind of forever a mystery at this point, right? Like, you know, I, the, the thing is, is that, like, I do imagine that they'll kind of tell this story, but... Is it also possible that the writers, because that was a problem with Lost. I just want to kind of throw this out there, right? Like, Lost was a show that at times kind of felt like they forgot things that they wrote in previous seasons. And then also the whole, like, they were kind of writing as they went along because they didn't know how long the show was going to last. So they kind of were like, okay, we did this. Okay, well, we got to expand on that now. Like, right. And it kind of feels like that at times with this show, right? I do think that the show is a lot more kind of buttoned up. That makes sense, right? Like, I do think that they clearly have a plan in place. And I do think that there are things that will get resolved and answered that they are clearly heading in a direction on. But I also think that there's a lot of stuff that we're probably never going to get answers to. Right? I mean, there's a still like a million, like literally, like maybe not a million, but there's at least a couple dozen questions that are probably not going to get solved, that are probably not going to have answers, at least anytime soon. And it's like every time a new episode happens, there's like even more questions. And I've said this before, at what point do we get so many questions that you never get all the answers, right? Like that's a problem and concern too. Again, I love this show. I, it, I'm fine with it, but like I've even seen comments from people where it's like, this is start, it's starting to get confusing, right? Because it is. It's, it's with Victor and the story that he's trying to unravel and unpack, there clearly is a lot of confusion and I'm hopeful that it's purposeful.
right? I'm hopeful that it's not something where they're just like, they forgot some stuff like, oh yeah, we forgot that Christopher was evil, right? Like, you know, like I, I, I hope that it's like more of like, you're in, you're kind of, you're, you're being relayed to it in the mind of Victor who's trying to remember stuff from 20 years ago. Like, but this is also a guy that didn't remember he had a, had a sister. Like he literally forgot he had a sister and it's just like, you know, are we going to get the answers now? Clearly they're heading to the boy in white, right? Cause the boy in white is the one that told the story to Christopher. Um, so we're, we're going to see them have some type of conversation, whether it's just Victor or it's Victor and Tabitha and Sarah or, you know, however they end up approaching it. But there's going to be a conversation at some point between the boy in white and at least Victor. And hopefully then we get some information. Hopefully then we get something relayed. But even like the boy in white, it's like, dude, like you are the least helpful, helpful person there is, right? Like you, you, you like, you're willing to kind of step out and like point people in directions that need help. But like, you don't relate any useful information and like, yet you know things that go on. The monsters seem to know things that go on. So clearly you guys are hearing and listening things. You know that Victor doesn't remember and was going to go get Jasper to try to remember. And you didn't think like, hey, maybe I should tell Victor, hey, it wasn't Jasper, it was me. And I told the story to Christopher Right, it wasn't Jasper who told the story to Christopher, right? And oh yeah, by the way, Christopher really is an evil, right? Like, did Christopher even kill anybody at this point? I mean, seriously, right? has Christopher ever killed anybody? One, is he really evil? Right, like what happened to his to Victor's mother? Did she go through the tree? Did she not go through the tree? Right, like again, the story just keeps changing, and it's like. So what is it? Is it all kind of true, right, to an extent? Is it something where, you know, yes, Victor Snap lost his mind, ended up setting up the town to be feasted by the monsters. They all got tricked, eaten, and then, you know, like, Christopher ended up running away. But, like, where's Christopher? Is he dead? Is he alive? Is he trapped somewhere? Uh, did he become a monster, right? Like, is that how he was able to run through everybody in the town? Because he became a monster and just, like, ran through everybody? And because everybody trusted him and didn't know that he was a monster, so they, like, he was able to kind of, like, manipulate people to eat them all? Like, I, like there's, there's so many things that kind of need to be unraveled and unpacked here still. But, like, it's like every time we start getting pieces to that puzzle, it's like... Oh, sorry, it was the wrong pieces. You know, like, they're, 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 these pieces are really similar, but it's not the right pieces, right? And it's like, you, you keep changing the puzzle. And it's like, how are we going to solve this puzzle if you keep changing it? Because, again, something's not adding up. It's not quite adding up. And, I mean, look, there's more. There's, like, several different things that aren't adding up. And, you know, but I just, you know, want to kind of focus on a topic at a time. But... Like, there's clearly things that, and a lot of, and it's all kind of centered around Victor, which is why I've made videos and talked about, like, how reliable is Victor? How well can we trust Victor's memories, right? He, he's trying to remember through, like, trinkets and stuff like that, you know, um, little memorabilia <laughs> from, from, like, the townspeople and stuff, and it's just, like, there's just... You're trying to trust the guy to relay information who is shown to be unreliable in the information that he's relayed, right? He's he's constantly says, again, I mean, he told Tabitha stories and stuff that now we know turned out not to be true, right? Like, he told Tabitha the story of his mother, which that whole story turned out to be completely nonsense because it wasn't. Miranda who was supposed to do it it was Christopher Christopher was supposed to be the one to go to the bottle tree and go through the bottle tree according to the boy in white so 
Victor could have literally killed Tabitha. <laughs> like, seriously. Because we've seen, like, Dale. And, like, The Rock. And his mother. Didn't make it. Like, it is very possible that Tabitha steps into that tree and ends up dead. Because Victor relayed the wrong information. Right? Like, it's just... Again, like, there, things just keep changing. And so it's, like, the story itself, again, it's just, it's not adding up. The story itself is not making sense the way it's supposed to. And there's there's clear issues with that and clear concerns with that, right? Because that's a lot that you kind of need to unravel. There's a lot that still needs to be unpacked, and we need to know, like, you know, is the boy, in, hopefully the boy in white kind of clarifies everything, and then we actually get the story. Because also the boy in white, would know what happened after, right? Like, he would know what happened to Victor's mother and would know what happened to Christopher and would know all those things. So hopefully he can kind of relay everything that, th that needs to be relayed. But just something I wanted to talk about um, as we get ready for these final two episodes. Um, but anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Hey, Phil, what are your thoughts? Um, do you agree? With my points disagree with my points do you think like yes like it is kind of all over the place right now things aren't adding up things aren't making sense do you think like no like it, it's fine like it's making sense it's adding up right it's just obviously he forgot a couple things but you know for the most part it's been fine um you know however you feel whatever your thoughts are i love to hear it either way so let me know down in the comments below that being said if you haven't liked this video hit that like button helps me a lot so we enjoy these types of videos and i truly appreciate it not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.